this video, I'm going to build my favorite Minecraft updates out of LEGO. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's first start by building 1.14, the village and pillage update. This update completely changed the game back then. Changing the entire style of villages, adding a whole new raid system, and adding a bunch of awesome structures, like pillager outposts. They also added new villages for different biomes, like savanna villages, desert villages, and taiga villages, for example. And my favorite one out of all of these is the desert village, so I built this one for this video. So I started by building this small house. And it was pretty easy to build. The only tricky part was adding buttons at the front of the house, like in-game. And I accomplished doing that by using this snot technique here. These small desert houses have a lot of cut sandstone at the corners, so I remade cut sandstone by stacking some jumpers on top of each other to give a cut look, I guess. Then I added this burger bun looking roof at the top. This roof was really hard to make because of all the stairs, so I had to use a lot of snot techniques. Now let's tile this roof off. This is one of the houses done, now let's build a crop farm. For the farmland, I just used a bunch of 1x1 one one plates in reddish brown and dark tan to make a checkerboard design. And I'm not even joking, I built this 3 days ago and my fingers still hurt from placing all of these plates. At least I had to tile the build off afterwards. I also added some terrain around the farmland because it was a little too bland. I also added this cactus with a genius design by Pandas Pandas. His channel will be linked in the description. Now let's connect the small house and the farm together. Right now I'm building some terrain to add an extra desert house. Now that the terrain is finished, Let's build the house. I'm gonna add some utilities in the house like a crafting table and a chest. And like the last house, I used a lot of dark tan jumpers for the walls to represent cut sandstone, as well as the snot technique to represent the buttons at the front of the house. And then I added the roof to finish everything off. Now let's connect this to everything else. Now let's add an open area for villagers and visitors to roam around. To avoid zombies from spawning in the night, I added these lamp posts around the village. And to top everything off, I added some hay bales back here. Now that the village is done, I'm just not gonna keep it peaceful because I like to see the world burn. So let's add a raid. I'm gonna admit, I was kinda mean to the villagers to leave them to die, so I'm gonna add a guy to defend the village for them. Now that I'm done with the village and the raid, I have one more thing to build, a pillager outpost. So let's start by building the first floor which is fully made out of cobblestone. Since this has already been done by someone else and I'm basically copy pasting what he did, I'm just gonna time lapse my building process and I'm gonna shout out the creator which is Cheesy Studios in the description. I was gonna build this in a desert biome, but I completely ran out of tan tiles and I was saving some for the floors of the pillager outpost. Now let's build the balcony. And lastly, let's build the roof to finish the pillager outpost. Wow. 
And here's the pillager outpost and the desert village combined. And that together makes 1.14. Now that I'm done with 1.14, I'm gonna build another one of my favorite updates, which is the wild update. This update brought the coolest structure of all time, the ancient city. It also brought mangrove swamps and a bunch of cool mobs like the LA, the frog, and the warden. And I wanna replicate the official image of the wild update out of Lego. So let's begin by building the deep dark section. For the skulk, I mixed in a lot of these bluish studs with black bricks and black tiles and plates and I say the skulk looks pretty good and for the skulk veins I just used Lego's official design I'm now done with adding all the skulk on the floor. Now I'm gonna tile the rest of the floor off with some normal dark gray tiles. Next, I'm gonna build the walls of the cave. I really don't have much dark gray bricks, so I had to build the rest of the walls in light gray. And for some parts of the wall, I used some snot techniques to make the undersides of everything smooth. Now that the walls are almost done, I'm gonna start building the top where the mangrove swamp is gonna be. Starting by building an arch to see what the terrain will look like up above. Now let's solidify the top floor by just spamming a bunch of 2x4 bricks on top of each other. Then I added puddles of water in the empty holes of the top to hydrate the swamp. Then I tiled everything off and added some lily pads around the water puddles. Next, I started building mangrove trees. For the roots, I used these 1x2 reddish brown profile bricks and they work really well. Next, I gave these bald trees some leaves. Now let's add the mini figs to finish this mock. And here we have 1.19 out of Lego. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me, what is your favorite Minecraft update? I'll see you guys next time when I crash my Millennium Falcon into the nether.